Hey guys, this is Michael from Kaka Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about all the key points that you'll need to know about lattice energy. So to start off, what is lattice energy? By definition, lattice energy is the amount of energy that is required to separate one mole of a solid ionic compound into its gaseous ions. So let's take a look at what exactly is the reaction that's happening here. So for example, if we had sodium chloride, the reaction that's going to be occurring is sodium chloride solid becoming its gaseous ions which is going to be sodium plus gas plus chloride ion gas. So then the amount of energy it takes to separate one mole of sodium chloride solid into its gaseous ions is called, it's, that's the lattice energy. Simply, you can think of lattice energy as an indication of how strong the ionic bond is. A stronger ionic bond is going to have a higher lattice energy because then that bond is going to be harder to break and to turn into its gaseous ions. So that's what lattice energy is. So what factors affect lattice energy? What causes the lattice energy of one ionic compound to be larger than the lattice energy of another ionic compound? Well, there are two factors. The first, those two factors are charge and the ion size. With an increase in charge and a decrease in ion size, that's going to lead to an increase in lattice energy. So again, lattice energy is kind of related to the strength of the ionic bond. Well, if there's greater charges, the, if the ions have larger charges, that's going to cause them to be more attracted to each other, and then that's going to lead to a stronger bond and then a higher lattice energy. Same thing with ion size. The smaller the ions, the closer they, to get, they can get to each other, which lead to, again, a stronger attraction, a stronger ionic bond, which is a which is related to a larger lattice energy. Well, let's take a look at one example and apply, apply these concepts. So let's say we're looking at um, sodium chloride. Let's compare sodium chloride versus magnesium sulfide. And then we're going to determine of these two which one has a larger, larger lattice energy. So first thing we want to look at is charge. The charge of sodium is positive 1. The charge of chloride is negative 1, uh, the charge of magnesium positive 2, and then the charge of sulfur is negative 2. And then in terms of ion size, you can see that sodium, magnesium, sulfur, chloride, they're all in the same row, which means that they are of similar sizes. So that means we can pretty much ignore ion size here and solely just focus on charge. And when we're looking at charge, we're looking at larger charges. You want to multiply the two charges together and see which of these two will give you a larger product. So positive one, negative one, that's just going to give you negative one. Um, it's going to give you yeah, negative one. And then this positive two, negative two is going to give you negative four. So you take the absolute value of these products. And then, so this will be one, and then this will be four. And then you can see that so magnesium sulfide has the larger charge. So that means this is going to have the larger or higher lattice energy. And then that's it. That's uh, all the key points that you need to know about lattice energy. We talked about the definition of lattice energy is, the reaction that's associated with lattice energy, the two factors that influence lattice energy, and then a quick example about how to determine which uh, ionic compound has a larger lattice energy. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And then if you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because throughout the entire semester I'll be posting up tons and tons of videos that's going to help you do better in chemistry and conquer chemistry. All right, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.